so now in this video we are going to create our first github repository or a local repository now we'll start creating resources in google cloud using the terraform so first we'll create repository and set up the credential to interact with gcp from terraform so let me go to one of my folders here and i will create one folder here so i'll just give the name gcp i'll just give terraform with gcp okay and i will just open the vs code here i already have this extension here so i can directly open vs code on right click Okay, so make sure you have Terraform installed. So if you didn't install Terraform, you can refer to previous video where I have explained how we can set up the Terraform on Windows as well as Linux. So I can check the Terraform version here. Okay, so Terraform 1.5 is already installed here. So now I can start creating the resources using the Terraform configuration file. So first I will try to create a folder in my Google Cloud organization. So you can create folders only if you are having organization access. So let me show you that. So here I have my own organization. So you could see uh, this techtrapture.com. This is the organization I am having. If you are working in a company, you will see that xyz.com. You will see that is your organization. So you can buy your own domain and create your organization. So you can refer my videos for that as well. If you want to create organization and set up this uh, domain for your organization. Okay. So here I already have the multiple folders. So what I will do, I will create one more folders and one subfolder and inside that I will create the project. So, and, but I will do that using the uh, Terraform. So let me go first in my terraform and just remember i am going to use a modular structure here so what do you mean by modular structure so suppose i have main.tf here which is my in my root module now i will create multiple folders here and i will refer it as a module so first i will create folders module then i will create projects okay this should be outside so I will have another module folders then project then I will create one more module called network then I will create one more module called compute so why I am creating this I will show you so I will create resources in modular structure so in folders I will create only folders in network I will create only networking resources like VPC, subnetwork, firewalls in projects I will create only the project level resources or the projects and in compute I can create a computer resources like VM instance or cloud run, GKE or I can create separate model for each resource as well so uh, this is the basic structure I am going to follow here then I will create one uh, provider file this should be in a root module so i will keep this in a root module so provider i will use google okay then main.tm i am not going to do anything now so i want to create a folder so in folders i will create one file that will be my main.tf and i will create one more file that will be my variable.tf now I don't know how to code in Terraform so you can simply go to Terraform to Google provider okay and it will give you all the documentation even if you are completely new to Terraform okay so I will refer this documentation here I will use folder I will just type the folders so I want to create the folders So here is option Google folder. Okay, and this is my code how to create a folder. So 
simply the folder's name I will give data form underscore test folder and I have to give this my organization ID so let me give organization ID so here you will see this ID is my organization ID so I can simply give this organization ID okay now I have to create one service account which will interact from my Google Cloud uh, from my Terraform to the Google Cloud APS to create the folders and that service account should have access to create a folders as well so I'll just give folder or my folder this is my module name okay and my folders name will be tf test so what I will do now I will create one service account so I will create in one of my project so I have one project active with billing so I will go to this project I will create one service account okay so I will just create service account I will just give the name tf service account that is tfsa I will give create and continue so for now I am not giving any permission just because I want it to throw an error whenever we are executing okay and tfsa is here now I will generate key for that so I will generate key so here I am just uh, showing you for knowledge purpose but if you are creating using the CICD pipeline there will be option to store a key in a secrets so you will use that secret so I already explained how we can use secrets in a uh, github action workflow or if we are using the cloud build then automatically service account will interact we don't need to create any kind of service account keys so I have service account key files here now I'll open and I'll just name I'll copy this content and I will create new file here key dot json okay and I will keep it in a and uh, in provider block now I will mention credentials I can mention file and bracket I can give the file name key dot json okay so now let me execute terraform init so it is downloading the plugins for google provider okay let me run terraform plan so now it is saying no changes because it will look for this main file and nothing is mentioned here so now i will call our module module and name will be folders now here i will call source and it will be yeah okay so now what i am doing i am calling this from this initially whenever we are executing terraform code it will look for this main file this main file will now call the source inside these folders and then it will go for this main file in folder where we have code for folders i think we placed in a wrong file yeah so we placed in a wrong file so we need that in a main file so it will look for this main file now let me execute terraform plan okay so module not installed so let me execute terraform init again terraform plan okay so here it is mentioning unexpected json input unable to pass credentials so what we missed so there is nothing in this uh, json file so let me go back to the file we downloaded
okay and this content we need so we'll copy this inside our key.json this is the key which we downloaded from the service account now execute terraform plan again and it should give the permission error now because we didn't give any permission to our service account let me try to run terraform apply now so it should create one folder I will type yes this is for confirmation okay and it given permission denied because our service account does not have permission to create any kind of folders okay so now I will go to my Google Cloud console and I will give access to my service account to create a folders so let me copy the service account is TFSA service account okay I'll copy it and I want to give access at a organization level so I will try to give access here okay and I will now see a role to create GCP folder so you see folder admin or folder creator role at parent so parent is our organization so i can give the folder admin role to my service account so i just grant access okay folder admin so i will give this folder admin role to my service account And now let me execute the same code. Okay, and also let me go to my organization structure. Okay, asking for confirmation. And let's see here if any project gets a folder gets created. So it is creating folder. Let me reload. And you could see this folder is created here. Let's see the output. Yep, TF test. So one folder added. So you can see the folder created. Now I want to create one more folder inside this folder, not in direct organization. So let me give name as my subfolder. So this will be Terraform. Now I will give inside Terraform test. I will give the name subfolder test. Okay. Now the parent will be folders, and this will be my newly created folder ID. So this will be. Okay, now let me execute Terraform init plan again. And now I will execute Terraform apply. Now the code execution is completed. Let's see on the console if subfolder is created here. Yeah, now we can see in the TF test subfolder we created one more folder subfolder test. So this way we can create multiple folders and subfolders in Google Cloud organization using the Terraform. So in next video we will see how we can create projects and multiple projects inside these folders. So that's it for this video. We'll see you in next video.